So certainly a disappointing loss for the Washington Commanders, but a loss that honestly didn't surprise me a whole lot. Look, Philadelphia has been playing very good football, and it was going to really take a lot for the Washington Commanders to win this uh, football game. In my last video, I talked about keys to the game, and one of those keys was ball control offense. And that was something that Washington could not do. Uh, they could not control the football on the offense. Uh, they got behind, um, but really not because that they got behind very early in the game. The defense held up. The defense actually did exactly what I felt that they needed to do. And that was to um, put some pressure on uh, Jalen Hurts, even though they didn't really put enough pressure on him, I thought. But uh, overall, you know, the secondary stepped up. The secondary played very well today. They responded to the criticisms. And um, overall, the defense played much better football. But the offense continues to struggle. And that offensive line continues to struggle big time. And where do we point fingers at, right? I mean, do, you know, some people are going to point fingers at Scott Turner. Some people are going to point fingers at Carson Wentz. Um, of course, you know, everybody's going to point fingers at Ron Rivera. Um, I think I was even pointing fingers at Ron Rivera, being frustrated during the, the football game. Because, you know, certainly year three, you expect this team to be competitive. And except for that first game of the season, this team hasn't really showed much of a, a competitive uh, push in them, honestly. You know, the, down by 22 points and showed nothing in, in the first half against Detroit. Um, did show some fight in the second half. In this game, they just pretty much laid down. They were, I mean, nothing from the offense in the first half at all. Um, Carson Wentz was sacked nine times total. And I think most of those sacks came in the first half. Um, Carson Wentz was 25 for 43 for 211 yards. And the majority of that yardage really came in the fourth quarter when they finally started uh, getting some some uh, offense going. But that's when the Eagles started playing a softer defense, started playing a little bit more of a prevent defense, trying to keep Washington out of the uh, end zone, which they pretty much nearly kept them out of the end zone. J, uh, not J.D. McKissick, but Antonio Gibson barely crossed the, uh, the goal line on that touchdown. Uh, but, you know, it looked as if the defense was going to be the only ones to have came up with points for the Washington Commanders today. Um, I tell you, it was just a very tough game. Um, you know, yes, the defense gave up some big plays, but it was one of those, you know, it was big plays that, well, for one of those plays, it was definitely a bad call w with the officials because it was obviously not a catch. The, the, the foot was out of bounds, and then Ron Rivera's way too slow with uh, throwing the challenge flag. There was a challenge that he would have won, but he was way too slow in, in throwing the flag out there. It was a tough move on that. Um, I think that led to just three points uh, for the Eagles, but still, those three points. And then, of course, um, uh, at the end of uh, the first half, uh, Jalen Rose um, to A.J. Brown, I believe, or was it Devontae Smith? No, it was Devontae Smith. It was just a great catch by Devontae Smith. Um, you know, the coverage was right there, and Devontae Smith just had a heck of a catch. Can't really blame anybody on that. It was just a, it was a great move. Um, but, you know, the Eagles are definitely, um, you know, as much as I cannot stand Eagle fans, and Eagle fans uh, are, you know, they pretty much let you know 
they're probably they are probably the the most obnoxious fans in the NFL, probably, um, and they they're proud of it. Um, some of the Eagles fans I know personally are not. Uh, they're they're great people who I can talk football with, but uh, the majority of the ones I've seen on social media obnoxious. Having said that, I give them props to their team though. Their team is is playing really good football, and you look at their their schedule ahead of them, and they have a pretty soft schedule. So, I mean, the Eagles could seriously be five and zero, probably six and zero um, down in the next few weeks. So. Uh, the Eagles, you know, they have a good chance at, at taking this division. I definitely see them taking this division this year. Uh, right now with Washington, they're in trouble. Uh, if I would say, what is wrong with this team? I mean, it starts with coaches. You know, it does. It, it starts with the coaching. I think the coaching is suspect right now. Uh, you've seen it. In all phases, um, defensive coaching has been suspect, even though defense was on target today. Um, the offensive coaching has been terrible. Uh, I've I've sung so many praises for the offensive line, and then um, and the coaching, and then the last couple of weeks it's been horrible. And today was just downright awful. It looks like. I mean, you know, Sam Cosme is hurt. It's tough, man. Um, you know, Ron Rivera has not had uh, very good game management, in my opinion. You know, he had some suspect uh, calls last week that he did. You know, being slow on, on the uh, the red flag today, was, to me, was just another indictment. You know... Am I starting to sour on Ron Rivera a little bit? I'm, not, I'm one of his biggest fans, man. I love Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera as a man, outstanding. Love him. I love him. But as a coach, I'm, I'm starting to grow a little tired because I'm expecting by year three, you demand and you expect. And he should be demanding and expecting this team to take a step forward. No excuses at this point. This is not frustration talking. This is just how it should be. Um, so that is just it. You know, you look at total yards. Uh, Washington had 240, gave up 400 yards to Philadelphia. Um, total drives. Here's the funny thing. Total drives. Philadelphia had 13. Washington had 12. It really felt like Washington's offense was never on the field. But in fact... At one point, uh, Washington and Philadelphia, the time of possession was neck and neck. Like, they were even, especially in the first half. And you were like, how was that so? Because it looked as if the offense was hardly ever on the field. Um, The biggest discrepancy certainly was the rushing. Uh, Again, we just, uh, we were terrible uh, in the rushing department here. I mean, um... Uh, yards per rush, we average. Here's the funny thing: we actually average more yards per rush than what Philadelphia did. We did a good job of shutting down Philadelphia's rushing. Um, that was a good thing. But you know, it, when it came down to it, Philadelphia made the plays that they needed to make, and because that, I think the the game plan for them was playing. Uh, fill position and whenever you can play fill position it's going to give your offense a chance to have a short field and that's what the Eagles had and eventually it's going to make things easier for you and sure enough I mean you look at it uh, that second half is where Philadelphia or that second quarter is where Philadelphia scored all their points you know we shut them out for three quarters um, but that that second quarter was the the backbreaker for this uh, for this game, uh, and partly because that well we kept getting sacks we kept getting pinned 
deep within our own territory and just losing big chunks of yards uh, because I really feel like the play calling today by Scott Turner was horrible. If you knew, you could see that the offensive line was not holding up and Carson Wentz was getting sacked here and there. You don't keep calling plays in which Carson has to drop back seven, you know, seven steps, a seven-step drop back. Why are you calling plays like that? You need to call plays in which he gets the ball out of his hand quicker. You saw that in the second half when really, for all intents and purposes, it was too late. Uh, you should have saw that in the first half. You should have made those adjustments quicker. Should have, you know, again, those kind of like what I said is like an echo from last week. Uh, bubble screens. Um, you know, where are these slant passes? Why don't we have any slant passes? You know, some quick passing to get the ball out of the hands of Carson Wentz to build up some momentum to keep drives going. Where is that? There, it was nowhere to be found. And I, I blame that on the play calling. Uh, Scott Turner gets an F today. Uh, Ron Rivera gets a, at least a D today. Uh, Jack Del Rio and company, I'll give them a C plus. I think the defense played much better. They really they kept the the team in in this game as long as they possibly could. But you got to have help from the offense. We just can't seem to to have a good offensive day and a good defensive day all in one game. I think if we can pull both of those together, um, <laughs> we're going to win some ball games. But until then. Who knows? Well, coming up, this is Dallas week. So this team's going to Dallas. Um, we're playing them without Dak Prescott. So there you go. Washington has an opportunity. But, you know, is Micah Parsons going to feed? Probably. He's going to be licking his chops. He's going to look at that offensive line. He's going to get a sack on, on Carson Wentz. If Scott Turner doesn't change his play calling and – you know, start calling a more ball-controlled, quick passing, you know, get the ball out of the hands of Carson Wentz much faster, we're going to see, we're going to continue to see a repeat of what we saw in Detroit and what we saw today. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Uh, another terrible game, um, but it is what it is. We'll keep talking about this a little bit more during the week, um, as well as some other thoughts surrounding the Washington Commanders, folks. We're 1-2, and two, heading into Dallas. This is, traditionally, it's been a big game. I, you know, I, I'm not as, I'm almost more in, indifferent about this game as I am with the Eagles. I just, you know, don't like the Philadelphia Eagles at all. Anyway, if you enjoy this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit that notification bell when you do so. You will know when I put out another video. Um, so please like this video, comment, share this video with others if you possibly can. And if you want to support me, you want to support this channel in other ways, you can do so by doing this. Seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let